Hey, blessings to you all, my viewers. My name is Daniver Scott. I'm a producer from Jamaica, gospel artist, engineer, among other things. I have a very interesting experience using Studio One Five, working on a project of which I want to share with you. I need for you all to help me to bring this to the attention of personas so that they can fix the problem if it's a problem that they are responsible for. I have a window here with three folders. The first folder is a project that I am working on for a client. And I reached to a point in the mix where I rest and I decide to continue the mix sometime after. But upon loading the mix, it would not load. Now what I did, I had was to now create a new folder, which is called here now Mix2. What I did, I import the scene, I import the data rather. And the data had some MIDI, MIDI drums. Um, I used the Steven Slate drums, um, drum five. And what happened is that when I import the session, I realized that the MIDI routing got messed up. So the kick end up where the, the tom should be and so it's going crazy. As a result, what I did, I had to reroute and then convert everything in terms of MIDI to wave. So I end up with all wave. Now I did the mix and it, it's basically 95% finish. I decide that I'm gonna now continue. I just come in studio, decide I'm gonna continue to finish up the project now. So I load it up and lo and behold, the same thing happened again. It just reached to a point where it's stuck and not loading. And let me show you exactly what happened. So here am I in this project and I'm loading the session. Just observe what happened. I'm not sure if it's really a plugging issue because I've never experienced that with the previous version. I had four and I, don't, I didn't experience that with it. It's just, this is new to me now. And, it's, and this is still the one five. So observe, it's loading all the plugins and the data, etc. I'm using a Mac. I'm running i7 and a lot of memory. So it's not an issue with my system. RTO. You see what happened? It crashes. It just reached to a point where it just crashed. Now, I say, all right, seeing that that is happening, I say, let me create a separate folder, which I have here. So this is mix, it's gonna be mix three. So this is what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna be loading Studio One, and I'm gonna import the data into mix three, where I'm gonna have to continue the mix. And so, let me take you through the process and show you exactly the roadblock I met upon. So let me save a new, just a minute. Just want you to see everything. <clears throat> Call that mix tree. Uh, let me find that folder. All right. Just so you can see what happened here. All right. So what I'm gonna be doing now is import the data. So let's import the data from Mix2. So here am I importing the data. Interestingly now guys, this is where I realize that I have a big problem. You can import all of these options that you're looking at here. But in this case, it's just audio that I need. So I'm highlighting all the audio that I need. All right. Notice guys, there is no bus option. And they're looking for the bus option to import my bus settings. And I'm not seeing any at all. I, have, I don't have any instrument to import, so I untick it, and there's no layer of anything. I only have events and automation and the files, the data to be copied, and volume inserts and sends. Outside of that, I have some bus that I create, and there is no option in here to import my bus. Let me import the scene. 
or the data. All right, here we go. So as you can see, yep, everything looks good. Let me load my mixer now. All right, so this is where the problem is now, folks. I had some parallel processing that I did using bus. And they are all pertaining to the lead vocal. A couple bus well, based on how I process vocal. As you can see, the effects channel, they return. But when it comes to bus channel, they all disappear. For the background vocal, I had some um, parallel processing. And I also sent all my vocals to a bus, where I do additional processing and some parallel processing using bus as well. Uh, also, where the, my kick is concerned and my snare, they would normally go to a bus. So I would normally send the top snare and the bottom snare to a bus and do final processing there. And likewise for the two kick and anything else that warrants such an approach. And likewise for instruments that is recorded in mono and they are stereo. I would normally send those mono tracks to a bus and do final processing and the list goes on. And also I would normally have my mix bus, right? I would normally have my overall instrument bus and my overall drum bus where I do additional processing, right? But notice they are not here. My bus, they are not here. So me want to now continue to mix this song. If you, as you can see, all my plugins, they are here. That was in the previous mix. And of course, everything is applied the way it was to vocal and all the instruments, etc. But one thing is missing and it's my boss. All my bosses. And this is not nice for me right now because it means that I'm going to have to I'm going to have to redo all of those parallel processing I did, which is a time waster. So this is my point. In the event where Studio One crash, for whatever reason, whether it's a plugging fault, whether it's Studio One, I really don't know. Say, for example, your project crash. And the only way to get back your mix, to finish up your mix, is by you importing the data as I did here. What's the point of not giving me the option to import my bus channels? When my bus channels, they are literally naturally a part of the mix and will be a part of the mix because every producer, we use up the bus channels a lot to do parallel processing and, and whatever processing we might find necessary. Right? So I want to bring this to your attention, guys. And I believe this is crucial, very important. Because right now, it would save me a lot of time, knowing that I could import everything, including my bus channel. It would be handy to have the bus option being able to be imported. So I just want to make this known to everyone. So please, guys, help me. If I miss something, please put it in the comments below. If there is something that I miss, because I've never experienced this before. To be honest, I never normally have to import data. Because Studio One 4, I never had this problem. So this is pretty new. So if there is any solution out there, guys, please feel free to, you know, comment. And if not, please help me to bring this to the attention of Presonus so that they can do something about this. All right? One more thing. Please subscribe to my channel. I have very interesting content that I will be uploading continually. With my experience being a producer for over 15 years, I have a lot of stuff under my belt that is unique to me. And also whenever I find interesting stuff that we're putting up on the internet for personas to see to update Studio One, I will do so. And I also will be sharing with you some videos of some very interesting ways that I use Studio One. The features that is in Studio One, they are excellent. Studio One is a good dog. And I wanna share those with you as well. So as the week progress, I will be sharing with you. God bless you. Thanks for watching.